I shake it off and try and ignore it. Then it said you could be having like a heart attack. At this point, I'm shaking it off like, and this is probably like a couple hours have gone by. I think I want to go to the hospital because my left arm just won't stop tingling. Like it feels like it wants to go to sleep. They put like these wires and stuff on me, I guess to take a picture of my heart. She has said, people be having balls. Like when I say they be having balls, they be people be having some balls on you. Girl. What are you doing, okay? Hey, what are you doing? You don't think it's best we go our separate ways. Tell me why I should stay when I'm hurting, baby. I ain't happy, baby. Cause there's just so many other things I gotta do. I think that you should let it burn. Uh, picture me folded, what? never that boy Can't leave the kill without the drugs or the gap no. boy. If I wouldn't select, baby Yeah, that's on my back, boy Get ear to the max, boy Finny, that's a fact, boy I'm from a place where it's dark outside The late nights you can't walk outside Bullets got the names on them Hit you when your homeboys ride As your mom shed her tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man, it's be the five what? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live Ayy Moses can't go to any hub and connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. When I tell y'all that was a walk, look at my face. That was like a 10 minute walk, right, Tati? It was like 10 minutes, right? Oh, 9.36. Oh, so 20 minutes. <sighs> Ooh, child, my eyelids are sweating, okay? Even that high, it's 92 degrees. I know y'all probably like 92 degrees. Girl, 92 degrees is comfortable here, but I am sweated out. Look, didn't even go to the gym, dropped my car off, walked home. That was my exercise for the day. I done sweated out my little hairstyle. I got all the gel all gooey on the side of my head. You seen it, right? And when you touch it, it feels nasty. Ew. Okay, I'm just going to go brush my hair, too. This was not like a well-thought-out plan. I didn't really think about this plan too well. When I got out the car and was like, I'm going to walk home. No, I feel like it. No. Sweat and gel. I know. Sweat and gel. Good combination. I surprised my eyebrows are still long. Ooh, yeah, it wasn't real thought out. But I got my exercise for the day. 6.35 in the even, evening. Okay, and let me tell y'all what I got to go to. Okay? So, Mumsy went and got her hair did today. She got it rebraided, new braids, because school about to start. But let me just say this, because this ain't about the hair braiding. But you know what? You get real comfortable with people after a while. Okay, when they do your hair or they do any type of services that you've been fucking with them with for like six years or more, then they get too comfortable with you and they start doing half-ass jobs for overly priced prices, okay? You charged me $300 for what? Okay. Yeah, okay. Craziness, craziness. Just ridiculous. Now, here comes to the next issue. So, y'all know, I, I said to y'all in, like, videos before how I go to this one spot where they got, like, the bomber salads, which is Chiba Hut. Now, it takes me, like, 25 minutes without traffic to get there because it's, like, 10 miles from my house. There are other places around me that sell salads, too, like Salad to Go, Papa Murphy's, which is right up the street. So, I could, I could, I could easily 
go to one of these and get there in five minutes. The Chiba Hut because I just prefer it. it's freshly made chicken that they put in it. It's so succulent and juicy. It's eleven dollars for a salad, and it comes with this little Tupperware case. Great, you can use it and save it. Perfect. Okay, not even concerned about that. I got enough of them in my house from Chiba Hut. But whatever. This is the fifth time that I have had an issue. I get a White Widow, which comes with chicken and bacon and house special homemade ranch dressing. So the last times they did not put any bacon in it. It comes in a separate container. The chicken and bacon come in a separate container together because it's hot, freshly cooked, and it has its own sauce. So anyway, um, I hadn't gone in a month, and they all know me there. And Mumsy and Nate picked it up for me after they got Mumsy's here done. I come back and I'm like, Nate's like even saying something about like, where's the salad at? There's hardly any salad in the dish. Yo, it was no salad in the dish, barely. I could see the whole bottom of the Tupperware. Like, where's the salad at? Y'all didn't even hardly put nothing in here. Like, come on. But the main thing is this. I'm getting real tired of people and they foolish nonsense trying to play me. First is the hairdresser. Now it's the goddamn sandwich place. Like, but I'm going to just go ahead and chill and go get my goddamn salad. And who came along with me for the ride? My ride or die. Buddy right here. Sidekick. Okay. Get you one. A nice fur baby shotgun. Yes. Right? Candy pancake. She did come along for the ride. So this is what I'm I got. It. Guys, this is what my salad looked like. Yes, I did. This is... Yes, I did. This is what I'm right. just saying. Well, I'm mad. Don't tell me what's not right. What's not right is this is what it looked like, but this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Oh, this is what she got. Yeah, this is what I got. What you asked for is what you get. Versus what I'm supposed to get. Now, see, it didn't look any. I didn't take anything That's out of so here. Bad. I didn't remove anything. This is exactly what I paid for and they came home with. And when You're I went back, this is tomatoes. how Those it's supposed to look. Right. Yeah, I know. I was missing cheese, croutons, cucumbers, sure croutons salad dressing, everything. It looks like something that was left over on somebody else's plate. This versus that. They were gathering people's leftover salad. Just yeah, started. they was <laughs> gathering leftovers. They was like, forget everything on it. So, guys, now y'all see why I drove back. Here, you want to buy something for you? me playing throughout the maze i'm hot and sweaty and i didn't go to the gym today so this was definitely a workout you don't want to go finish playing go play go ahead go have fun where's tinky tinky right there look see him you don't want to go there it's fine Huh? You know baby language, you want to go Tinky? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> yeah, look at the camera. Look up, Tinky. Look up, Julian. Not that. Not all the way up there. Look at me. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Look, Julian. Doo -doo -doo. Right here, look. There you go. Hi. <laughs> For you say thank you come on come sit down you want to sit right here all the guys comes where y'all want to sit at what's that you want catch up want some catch up you do you like ketchup you can put on the fry like that no more that's good okay oh 
Oh my goodness. All the love for baby cousin. Oh. She trying to give kisses, Julian. She trying to give give JJ kisses. Give him some loving. Oh, look. She said, I try to get kisses, big cousin. Yeah. Tell him. Mother's love. To <laughs> God. That is, she do got a head like you. And mine, too, because I have a big head, too. Yeah, that's where I got it from. I'm recording. I know. <laughs> that was so rude. <laughs> Look at her head. Don't she got a head like Tati? Like Red Mac Big Old Head. She do. She's got like a Tati head. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, so say, this is what they did to my hair at daycare, the girls. My teachers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you just, like... just drop the baby off to daycare so there's no baby in the car seat and i feel like i'll be having to just tell you guys that some some of you guys I hope y'all having like a really great day you know what's up what's up i hope y'all all having like a really great day i'm on my way to the doctor okay that's that's why that's that's why um yeah i got on a nice little blouse and stuff you know a blouse because i gotta go to the doctors tati made me at his doctor's appointment y'all okay this is her doing okay guys so this tati's doing she the one that made the doctor's appointment for me at eight o'clock in the morning eight ten in the morning so i'm already like five minutes late because i just am i just am but anyway so she makes the doctor's appointment for me because my head has been really bothering me like i keep getting these bad migraines and then yesterday for the past two days i woke up and behind my eye behind my right eye it hurts it just hurts and I really can't describe the feeling, the pain to you guys, but I'm just going to say it hurts. And um, so, and then I've been getting like these migraines all up in here and in the back of here. But this has been going on for months. So here I am at the doctor's office, you guys. So I will see so, you guys. Why is my blood pressure 169 over 20? Um, for what I was just told, either way, it's very high. Um, that's the reason why I probably am having all of these bad migraines and hurting up here and stuff. My blood pressure is so high. Um, I was just told, she said, um, if it would have got any higher, I probably would have went into shock, um, like cardiac shock or whatever. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I'm not really sure why my blood pressure is so high. Like, um, I don't eat salty food. Um, Yeah. This is definitely not a good thing. So now I have to be put back on a medication because I was on blood pressure medication. And so when I was just talking to her, just telling her everything, you know, that I've been going through, she's like, you know, that's probably, what, but like, that's old shit. Like I've been going through this stuff already. So my blood pressure shouldn't even be that high no more because this is like, I should be used to the shit. I don't know you guys, but it's irritating to me and, um, I just want to live a good life. I'm not trying to be taking medication all the time. You know what I'm saying? So now I got to log every single day how my blood pressure is twice a day. I got to bring it to her in a week. When I come back in a month, I got to get my blood pressure taken again. I got to go take um, my my blood got to be drawn for like the check for diabetes, to check for thyroids, because my mom suffers from that. And she got to check my kidneys. Nobody don't want to hear no bad news. Like, I don't want to hear bad news. If it wasn't for my daughter, Tati, I wouldn't even been here, okay? I wouldn't have known, so I'm glad she did. Yeah, got me on a ponytail today, guys. You know, I was coming to the doctor. I figured I was going to look cute, you know. 
You know what? Why does this eye always look better than this eye when it comes to the lashes? It's the same set of lashes, LA Colors. I love them. I love these lashes. So I had to come to the hospital to um, get myself checked out. I'm not sure what's going on, but my left arm has been like tingling all day. All day, my left arm has been tingling. Not really all day, but long enough. It feels like it wants to go numb. And, you know, I'm shaking it, trying to keep it from going numb or going to sleep. It has, like, that feeling of going to sleep. It had probably been, like, a couple hours that went by. That's when I was like, you know what? I think I want to go to the hospital. And I came into the registry. She um brought me back. They um put, like, these wires on me. That's why I have, like, these stickers all on me and stuff. They put, like, these wires and stuff on me, I guess, to take a picture of my heart, she has said. But she didn't tell me anything about it. And then they brought me back to a room. And took my blood i was like why are you taking my blood and i guess that's like part of the procedure i don't know and um then they put this tube in me okay so now i have this in me in case i need some type of fluid she said but it just feels weird like i don't i don't know what the hell is going on but and i look a hot mess like i look like um, i'm just going through it like i have no business being on here okay none whatsoever but I just wanted to tell y'all, this is how my Saturday is going. Like, this is not what I intended on doing. I intended on editing the video. And now I'm sitting here. Thank God there wasn't hardly anyone here when I came in. So I guess that was a plus. But still, I just want to go home. I don't want to spend all day here. Hey, guys. So I'm back home from the hospital. I got to leave. They said my test results were great. There was nothing wrong with my heart. I'm trying to remember everything he said because there was one thing that he said that was called bicarb. And I asked him like twice, what is what did that mean? He said, well, it's nothing too serious. He couldn't really explain it. He didn't really know. I had to Google it. It has something to do with like dehydration and something about your blood. Okay. So, yeah, my blood pressure got low. So it went back to normal. Thank God. Um, but I came home. I got something to eat. Um I want to take a shower and just relax now. Um, my arm isn't like tingly like it was. It's very slight, but I'll be all right. I just want to go lay down. At least he told me that it was nothing to worry about. Everything came back good, so it's nothing life-threatening. That's a plus. But I really wasn't too happy with his response of he doesn't know. So when I go back to the doctors on Friday to give my log of my um, blood pressure. I'm going to bring the papers from the hospital there. Anyway, guys, good night. I'll speak to you guys another time. I definitely am going to go lay down now. Ooh. Girl, look at this girl. She thinks she's going to escape from the playpen. Okay, look at her. Where are you going? Huh? Hello? What, you trying to escape? <laughs> Where you going? Does it taste good? Hey. How's it taste? Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. She looks like a little lady. Little lady. Like one of those little ladies 
they'd be having their little pearls, clutching little mm. bags and stuff, little shoes on. And they had those little fancy hats, sometimes little small fancy hats. Yeah. With little, yeah, so that's what she reminded me of. It's my church outfit. You going to church? No. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's good morning, all right? Somebody in the back says hello. And today is what? First day of school. Today is the first day of school, you guys. So we are, we just dropped off potato printers. Jakey's in the second grade. We are going to get Cousin JJ back. You get to play soccer where? Oh, last year you couldn't do that? Oh, wow. Dang. Well, guess what? You, you tomorrow you start a gymnastics class. Oh. Yep. So Tinky gonna have like a busy week. On Mondays at four thirty, he goes to swimming lessons. It's only for thirty minutes. Then on um, Thursdays for an hour, he goes to gymnastics class. So he be having like a. I got him on a little schedule. So I just feel like they the kids should have things to do besides playing video games and stuff you know jj got his glasses on he looks so handsome i'm just proud of my grandkids i love having them i love having the grandbabies back to my usual routine because i was missing bringing them to school every morning you gave me something to do and get up so you know back to my usual routine you know up early doing what i need to do bring them to school yes yes gotcha what you got for lunch today Oh, turkey Homemade turkey sandwich that mommy made. That's what's up. Okay, okay. okay. Y'all excited for today? Yeah. School is back on. Y'all get to see y'all friends and stuff. Is uh, any of your friends in your class, JJ? Oh, you did? I did. Oh, okay. You remember where your classroom is? All right. You remember where your classroom is? Yeah. Okay. Y'all can eat breakfast. Y'all gonna eat breakfast there? Breakfast is free. Y'all can eat y'all breakfast. Lunch. Yeah, lunch isn't free anymore, but breakfast is still free. Oh, they're gone. Just like that, they're gone. It always seems like the very first day of school is overly crowded. Like, it seems like there's way more people, way more cars, way more parents. And then as, as school, like, you know, continues throughout the year, it don't seem as many people as it is, like, right now. Right now, it just seems like an overwhelming amount of people. They be growing up so quick, you guys. Like, I'm so proud for them. I'm happy for them, too, that they get to go to school and stuff. And I'm glad that, you know, like, they don't have to wear the mask no more. And they could just go to school and see their little friends and little peers and stuff. So I'm happy that they, you know, back to normal. But you still got to be careful. But, yeah, going to the gym, on my way to the gym. I wasn't at the gym for over a week. It's a week and two days, okay? Oh, oh, well, I only go five days out of the week. So five days, seven days, okay? Seven entire days. Uh, Monday and Tuesday didn't go. So on my way now because, you know, they back to school. I figured, look, I told y'all I needed a break. I needed a vacation from the gym, okay? But, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. I am now... I'm happy because guess what? I woke up <laughs> today and I weighed <laughs> 218 pounds. I know some people is like, bitch, you still fat. Okay, but whatever. That's okay. Because a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I was 231 pounds. I ain't never been this big in my life, okay? Never. I ain't never been this big. Not even the last time for when I lost all this weight, okay? I think the biggest I ever was was like, 210 that ain't really much of a difference or maybe 210 218 but i had to work my way down from 231 in a couple of weeks and i lost it and i'm
It's so cute. Is that what you about, Tato? It is. Look at her face. She's okay. like, I'm Tato Monster. Okay. Uh, anyways, okay. Tato Monster. And she behind? Yeah, anyways. Well, hey guys, oh, it's Mumsy. Wait, there goes Mumsy. Hey guys, uh, Tati, you want to say hi? Tato Monster. Tato Monster, hello. Hi. <laughs> you think that's funny? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, okay? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Crawling all over the place. What's up, guys? We're going to get me some iced coffee, cold brew, whatever you want to call it. Me and my girl right here, my sidekick. Who's my sidekick? Huh? Who's my sidekick? I got my pajamas on. That's right. I got on my PJs. Okay? Yes. So, I accidentally, I'm not about to walk up in there and dump donuts. I accidentally put in um, it as a walk in. I'm not about to walk in there in my pajamas. But anyway, so yeah, I, I, um, I have recorded four videos yesterday. They was all curly hair. And an update to this curly one that I had. I had questions about, so I just decided let me just do an update on it. Hi, what can I get you? Hey, it's a mobile pickup for April. Okay, you but, give but I accidentally put it as walking. But um, can, can I get a pup cup and two splendors and a cream on the side, please? Okay. Thank you. So, um, thank you, dear. Oops. Have a good day, love. You too, sweetheart. Thank you. Cause Penny don't like cup cups. She don't. She don't care for whipped cream. Why you don't ever want to try it? You want to try some? Want to try again? I think I'm gonna go to Sam's Club and see how much their gas is. And if it's three ninety nine down the street from my house at the regular gas station, then it's probably like super cheap. So we're about to go to Sam's Club and get the gas, get some gas. Side kicking it, right? Side kicking it, yes. Who's the side kick? It's the side kick. So we just got some gas. I filled my whole car for a $52, okay? Yes, I'm so glad that the gas prices are going down. Girl, now you can get around $3.54, okay? I think you don't, please press me, go out Tell me why I should stay in this relationship When I'm happy, baby I ain't happy, baby Cause there's just so many other things I gotta deal with I think that you should let it burn Hey! Oh, the gas! Waiting for the boys to get out of school People know they be bugging out They really be parking at these people's house right here across the street Like when I say they really be parking this is because you know I sit on the same block every day when I get the kids, and there's this house that's on the corner right next to the school on the corner right here. This house, people will pull up and park like right in front of their driveway. When I say like right in front of their driveway, I mean like what this woman is doing right here, right now, because they're waiting for the kids to get out of school, so they'll park on this block. On this block, now you see that little makeshift ice cream truck right there, Molly's Molly. It's called Molly Molly's. Like, when I say they park in front of this person's driveway, y'all, they literally park right in front of this person's driveway. They're blocking their whole driveway. I've seen on several occasions when the person that live here want to get out their driveway, they had to go and tap on, they had to go and tap on this person's car. Now, this is what I'm talking about.
this house right here, they do it all the time. And it mainly be this one car right here that I always see. I know it's the same car because the license plate. And this other car. There's like two other people that do it. But the lady who live here, I've seen her on several occasions trying to get out of her driveway. You know, she'll come out the garage and then she'll try to be leaving. And they had they had to go and tap on this lady's window because she was in there sleeping. Like, I guess, you know, she got tired. I said, well, I'm going to just take me a little quick nap while I'm waiting. I'm like looking like, you know what, couldn't be me. Then another time, the person was trying to come into their garage, you know, come home. Same shit. People was like, they, they was looking at her like, why should they move? Bitch, why shouldn't you move? Okay. I'm like, y'all, you nice. Because if that happened in my house, man, I'm coming outside. I'm going to tell you one time, don't park in front of my driveway. Do not block my cars to get in or out or else you won't have one because I'll have it towed. I surely will have your thing So If I tell you one time, they do this every day, Monday through Friday during school, during summer vacation, there's going to be no action over here. Couldn't be me because... Mm -mm, couldn't be me. I would be saying something. People be having balls. Like when I say they be having balls, they be people be having some balls on them, girl.